How you doing, everybody, and welcome to the Super Bowl Media Center here in downtown Dallas. The Packers and the Steelers both arriving in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex for Super Bowl 45 today. The Packers watching the movie The Social Network on their way, something that Charles Woodson certainly enjoyed. But the time for socializing is all week long. Game time is Sunday. And Mike McCarthy talking with the media in the first availability of the week for the Packers. Talked about how the experience that the Steelers bring to the Super Bowl, being in their third one in a six-year span, having 25 players on the roster who have seen Super Bowl action compared to only two for the Packers, Woodson and Ryan Pickett. He doesn't think that's going to be a factor on game day. He thinks it's going to be a factor during the week as the Packers get ready for Tuesday's media day. Wednesday and Thursday, all the attention that continues with all the interviews and so on. But on Sunday, when the game is kicked off, he says it's just another football game. Interesting to hear McCarthy talk about that because he also talked about how, while he's going to enjoy the week, he says he's basically going to do everything he can to not have too much fun, that his focus is on the game. He's certainly not going to get swept up in it. We'll see if his players have any of those moments where they get swept up in the excitement and the euphoria. But... Again, if he thinks that there's any advantage for the Steelers with their experience, the coach says it's the fact that they will handle the Tuesday through Saturday festivities much better than maybe the Packers will. But all that matters is you can lose that part of the week as long as you win on Sunday. A couple of other interesting tidbits. Aaron Rodgers was among the players who spoke at the team hotel today. He talked about the putting the Twitter photo gate to bed, finally talked about his conversation with Nick Barnett says there's nothing but love between the two of them and that there is nothing to be concerned about there it is not a distraction says there just wasn't anything going on in Green Bay for us to report on this week so that's why that became a story I'm not sure I totally agree with that but certainly he did a good job of putting it behind him Clay Matthews meanwhile also one of the players that was on the dais today he did not win the NFL defensive player of the year award he finishes second by a two vote margin behind Troy Polamalu, the Steelers' safety, who gets 17 votes to Clay Matthews' 15. If you remember last year, Clay Matthews lost out to Brian Cushing of the Houston Texans, his former USC teammate, on the Defensive Rookie of the Year award. So Clay Matthews coming up empty two years in a row on major awards. I don't know how disappointed he was. He certainly sounded like he would have liked to have won the award before we knew who had won it when we talked to him, but... I don't think it's uh, all that disappointing as long as he gets the really important trophy, the Lombardi Trophy, on Sunday. We are here all week long, ESPN Milwaukee, ESPN Madison, Channel 3000. Drew Olson is here, Lance Davis is here, Craig Carmison will be here later in the week, Homer will be here later in the week. We will have all your Super Bowl coverage right here on the website and we hope that you'll tune in for more of this i'll be doing a video a day tomorrow we are headed to media day at cowboys stadium i will uh try and capture the size and circumstance of jerry world i don't know if i can do it on a flip cam though but i will give it my best shot if you have questions you can always email them to me jwildy at espnwisconsin.com or you can use twitter jason jwildy We'll try and get to some questions in some of these videos. Otherwise, we'll talk about the news of the day and whatever else comes up because there's certainly a lot of times when the news isn't necessarily news during Super Bowl week. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.